Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be on new ColourPop Ultra Mac Liquid Lipsticks. Ah, I'm on a whole nother level of excited to share this with you guys. Oh my god! Like, look how many colors there are. My lips look like they kind of have a pink ring around them and that's because they're pure raw. Because I did lip swatch all of them for you. You're gonna see it in this video. I'm gonna review them. I'm gonna let you know the good and the bad parts. My favorite colors. We're gonna go over all of them. If you wanna see that, stick around. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and we're gonna jump right in and get started. <laughs> about lips being blood red and looking like they're about to bleed. <gasps> I want to talk about uh, the lip colors individually, but first I want to kind of give you an overall review and my thoughts upon them. I think they are great. They are $6 a piece. They do not ship to the UK yet. Oh, I know. I just stabbed you in the heart. I'm so sorry. I did talk to the girls there. They are working so hard on getting the product shipped over to the UK. It is not happening yet. They don't know when it's going to happen. You have to understand it's not just a contract of, all right, this shipping company can ship it right over there. And there we go. It's what that country will allow in the country as far as the formula of their product, yada, yada, yada. Each product has to be a little bit different, something like that. I don't know all the works in it. I'm not in shipping business, okay? They're working on that. There are 25 shades right now. They're working on even more shades. <gasps> I don't understand how they can come up with more shades than this, but they are in the works of doing that. Wanted to wait till all the shades were out to release them, but they couldn't wait any longer. And thank God, because I mean, we, we, we need to get started on these. These are beautiful. They're so pretty. They launch today. <laughs> this day, right now. This day, they're launched. They are now launched. I love liquid lipsticks. I love pigment on my lips. If you have been with my channel for a hot minute, you know this girl right here loves some color. But even if you don't, the nude selection is, I mean, it's there. I do think the colors, they are drying. I haven't found a liquid lipstick that is not drying. So your lips need to be pre-moisturized before you apply them. I do apply these on my lips with no other product, just on my bare lips. You do need to make sure you're exfoliating your lips before you apply any liquid lipstick, especially these, um, because any little piece of skin or any crusty crust on your lip um, is going to show through big time. So just be sure your lips are nice and smooth. And don't say I didn't warn you because I just told you, make sure your lips are nice and smooth. Make sure. Their manufacturing warehouse is actually in Los Angeles, I believe. I think so, so. It's a United States product. Um, like I said, they're $6 a piece. The Anastasia liquid lipsticks are 2.3 grams. You get the exact same amount of product. Um, so just to give you a size reference, you're, it's almost, it's like, ah! The tube is just a little bit longer than the Anastasia liquid lipsticks, but you actually get the exact same amount of product. I just think their wand is a little bit longer. They do come with each with a doe foot applicator. It makes them pretty easy to apply. For me, I do like the doe foot applicator, especially whenever it's not a big spongy one. This one is quite stiff. So for me, the stiffer the uh, applicator with a liquid lipstick, it's easier to apply. That's just my opinion. That is not fact. These do crack a little bit. I have found a way around the cracking that works for me. If you put one thin layer of the liquid lipstick on your lips, they will not crack. I have no problem with the cracking. They go on smooth. It works out perfectly. If you put a layer and then add maybe another layer just for like more color, whatever you're doing, they're probably going to crack. I hate to say it, I have majority of liquid lipsticks do in some ways crack on me, not all of them. These do crack, but that is my method of getting around them from cracking is to do one small layer. If you look into my lip swatches that you're going to see, you'll see that they didn't crack and that's because I have one thin layer of each liquid lipstick on my lip during the lip swatches. So just so you know. I have one thin layer on. Okay, so now I'm going to talk to you guys about each color and just let you know my opinion on it. The first color is Vice. It is incredibly, incredibly a nude color. Like it's like super nude. Honestly, Vice is too light for me to wear because the color of my skin is a little bit too dark. It just comes off too light on me and it doesn't really work out. However, I do mix Vice with a little bit of a brown color and just put it in the center of my lips. It works out beautifully. Excuse my cell phone. 
<laughs> Next color I want to talk about is Shimmy. Now this is a color that's more so up my alley. This is a very pink nude and this one is a little bit more wearable for me because it has a little bit more color to the nudeness. I do wear Shimmy in the center mixed with another color. I rarely wear a nude lipstick on its own because that's just a preference for me. I don't like how like whoosh, nuded out your lips can be. If you do, girlfriend, you rock it to the cows come home. Next one is you're getting into a light pink and kind of out of the nude category. We're still in a very neutral category. I think that, I think this one's called Solo. Solo is going to be one of those colors I honestly think would look good on anyone. Light color, medium color, dark color, olive color, has that yellow undertone, has the pink undertone. I think Solo would look good on anybody. So if you're kind of like, I don't know what to get, <gasps> what looks good on me, try out Solo. Be a good everyday color. The next one I talk, talk to you guys about is Midi. Now, Midi reminds me a little bit of Myth by MAC, which is a white nude color, but Midi actually has a little bit of a brown undertone within it, so it's not going to blank out your lips. I think Midi would be so beautiful on a girl with light skin. I also think it would be pretty on a girl with dark skin. I'm just saying if you're a girl with light skin and you have a hard time rocking a nude, I think Midi would be pretty because it's not too, too nude. It has a little bit of a mauve brown undertone. The Trap is probably one of my favorites out of all of them because it almost looks gray, which I know is weird, but I like weird stuff because I'm weird. Rock your weirdness. And I love the name of it, Trap. I'm like, yeah. Trap, it's gray. It's basically like a purple gray color. I would love to say it's, it is super mauve but it's leaning more towards like a purple gray color. Once you get it on your lips, and you're looking in your face, you're like, that's gray. So I like it. I like gray colors. I think it goes good with like a grunge glam look. Now we're going to jump into the pink colors. You're like, we didn't just talk about pinks. No, we did not. We are just now getting into pinks. So we're first, we're going to talk about Donut. <laughs> what a cute name, right? Donut. One of my favorite pink colors. It is definitely not a subtle pink color whatsoever. It's like pink, like you can see from back here. Pink. I don't want to call it Barbie pink because it's not hot pink whatsoever, but it's more like bubblegum pink. It's like that poppy bubblegum pretty pink color. First base is more of the Barbie doll pink color. It just has a pink with a slight purple undertone, which that just makes me think of Barbie. I know everybody has their own opinion of what Barbie's pink looks like, but mine first base, it reminds me so much of a girliest girl, girl, girl Barbie color. Like, this is girl world right here. Next I want to talk about Seesaw. Seesaw we're leaning towards more of a purpley pink color, like a little bit of mauve and gray within it. It's not going to be for everyone. And honestly, Seesaw doesn't even look that great on me. I think my skin's a little bit too dark for it right now. I think in the winter time I could probably pull it off more easily. But I think it's so pretty. It is a standout lip color because once you get it on your lips, it almost looks like you're wearing a light purple color. Now we have a neon pink color. Neon pink color is Buds and this reminds me of Candy Yum Yum by MAC. It's probably a dupe for Candy Yum Yum by MAC because Candy Yum Yum is a matte lip color as well as, um, hello, our ultra matte lipsticks, liquid lipsticks. Woo! So this is going to be your neon pink color. It's not subtle whatsoever. This one is hilarious and I love it so much because it's hilarious. This one is like purple. The name of this one is Cola. I think this one's called Cola. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing it wrong. If not, I know you guys will tell me in the comments, girl, you were wrong. This one is neon purple, like neon lilac. Not, let me not say just neon purple, but neon lilac. It is a neon light color. Like you could say, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's insane, the color. And I love it so much. It's so wild. So again, this is one of those out of the box colors. Perfect for summer and springtime, but it's out of the box. What I want to talk to you about is Litchi. Litchi is our, it's not our darkest purple that we have, but it's our most purple purple that we have. It's not maroon and it's not light purple. It is just that Crayola color purple. And it is wild and it is so much fun. I love Litchi. I love them all. Like I love the colors and how bold they are. I'll talk to you about Drive-In, which is probably one of the most wearable purple colors that they have. Um, it, it, It's more of like, Fuchsia purple, I think it's very wearable. I would wear this regularly. Like I wouldn't wear this just for fun or out on a crazy night. Like I would wear this during the daytime as a fun purple color. Okay, this one is not one of my favorites. I probably won't be wearing this color because it reminds me of my grandma's nail polish. But this one is Sunday and it has an iridescent shine to it. I don't know what it is about it, it's just a rare color that I'm not obsessed with. It has a weird tint to it. 
but this is Sunday, but you may love it. So, I mean, it's everybody has their own opinion on stuff. It just reminds me of a grandma's nail polish and I can't get that out of my head. I'm sorry. This color is a color that me personally, I would wear any day of the week. This is called Highball. So Highball is your typical hot pink color. It's not neon pink. It's not Barbie doll pink. Don't get those two confused. It is hot pink. Anytime I wear Pinky Promise by Dose of Colors, people ask me what I have on, lips, lit on my lips. This looks exactly like Pinky Promise by Dose of Colors. Another color that like I love so much. I love coral. I, this is Pacific and I just think that's such a great name for this color and I don't know why you would think Pacific blue something. No, I love Pacific. Um, so this one is just pure coral. Yes, it has some orange undertone to it, but any coral do color does. I love the color coral. So now I'm going to talk about this color. This color is called Zipper. This is purple, 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 but this one is a darker purple and it actually transfers so dark from a distance. It almost looks like you're wearing a black to a maroon color lippy. Looks like it looks a wee bit darker than it does in the package and I will let you know that you have to be careful when applying the darker liquid lipsticks because doing one thin coat, you wanna make sure that one thin coat is super even or else they get patchy. It's weird, you have to be more careful when applying these when they're dark colors like this. So zipper was a little bit more difficult for me to apply. OG? OG? Orgy? No, not orgy, right? So this one is a pink color, but it look, it's like an orange red is what I want to call it. It's not necessarily, I don't even know that, I mean, I guess I would call it pink, but it's leaning on the side of red, but it's not quite red enough to be red. It looks like kind of like Relentlessly Red by MAC. It has like a corally red to it. It's a really pretty, really well wearable color. Next, I'll talk to you guys about Succulent. We're getting more into the reds. This one is a lighter red color. It's not gonna be that blue toned red color. It's definitely gonna be a more warm toned red color. Um, the blue toned red, red color we'll get into just a minute, but the warm, warm tone of a red color, I think it's beautiful for more of a summertime red color lips. Next, I'll talk to you about the blue tone red one. This is a little bit of a darker red. This red's gonna make your teeth look super duper duper, super duper 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 white. I mean, while lip swatching all these, I put this on my lips and I was like, hot dog, did my teeth just get whiter? And then I was like, oh yeah, I'm using a blue tone red. That's exactly what this is. This one is called Creeper and this one probably has the, my favorite name out of all of them, Creeper. Like that is everything, Creeper. Next, I'll talk to you guys about Mars. Mars is very close to Highball, but Highball, as you can see, is a good bit lighter. Mars is like a darker fuchsia color. It depends on how dark or light you like your fuchsia color to be. I would wear either of these. I, I mean, I wouldn't even get picky with it because they're so close in color, but um, Mars is just darker than Highball, but they're both a beautiful fuchsia pink color. A few more to talk about, and we're gonna go over all the brown colors. So I adore these brown colors. These are your, these are gonna be the fall colors. I'll actually talk about the darkest one and I had a whole lot of trouble getting this one to apply evenly. I hope you can't tell in the lip swatch, but you might be able to tell in the lip swatch. If you can tell, please do not let me know in the comments. Just be like, uh, you did a good job, girl. You did a good job because my lips are swollen right now. <laughs> but this one is LAX. I mean, what a great name, right? Although I hate LAX because the traffic makes me want to stab someone in the airport. Ah! This one is a dark, dark, dark brown color. It may have a little bit of a red tone, but once you get it on your lips, you can't see that whatsoever. It just, it transfers so dark. So this is going to be, this is the darkest one out of all of them. So I'll talk to you guys about Limbo. Limbo is just your brown, 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 brown. Like this looks like the Crayola color brown. There's no other way to describe Limbo. It is super brown and it transfers to this exact color. Super duper brown. Again, it's a darker one. I had a little bit of trouble getting it to apply evenly. Bumble is a spicy brown color. It reminds me just a little bit of the Gerard's 1995 liquid lipstick with, I mean, pfft, not liquid lipstick, regular lipstick, which kind of took over the world whenever that was like Jaclyn Hill's first lipstick she came out with. This one reminds me a little bit of that. It has that spicy brown to it. The next one I'll talk to you about is Thule. And you may be like, gosh, they're so similar, but they're really not that similar at all once they're right up next to each other. 
uh, Tully is like 10 shades darker than Bumble. I think Bumble is going to be way more wearable. But again, it all depends on what you like to wear. It's all about what you like, not just what I'm saying. I'm just letting you know. And this is more of a neutral color rather than Tully. And you'd probably get more wear out of Bumble if you're a neutrally gal and you don't like crazy dark colors. Lastly, sorry if my voice got super scratchy at the end of this. I had to talk a lot and wanted to go over them all. So just bear with me. Lastly, I'll talk about Avenue. Avenue is brick red. It looks maroon. And again, this one is super, super dark, but I didn't have trouble applying it. So it, it applied really evenly. It is extremely dark. It is extremely bold. I will wear this color like every single day of fall time. So that is it for this video. Also, I wanted to let you guys know my friend Yasmin, her channel is called Beauty Bird. She is doing a video that's going to be so fun involving these. She's going to be lip swatching them all and the video is going to be super fun to watch. I think if you watch that video, it's going to help you out so much in picking out which shade is going to be right for you. You're actually going to be able to really see them on her lips. She's going to be doing close-ups and all that jazz. She's going to lip swatch every single color. She's going to kind of, you know, I did more of the review part of it. She's going to do more of them showing them on the lips. And I feel like that's really going to help you guys pick exactly which color you're looking for. I hope I answered all your questions on these by going over all of these. Let me know down in the comments if you have more questions on them. I'll be happy to answer them. You guys know I'm always commenting back. I love reading your comments and your feedback. It's so amazing. My hands are pink. Ah, what happened to me? I love you guys. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.